Ileana Ross Layton was born in Cuba and came to the United States at the age of eight after the Castro regime came into place. Today, she represents Florida's 18th district and serves as chairwoman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congresswoman, thanks for joining us Thank at the Heritage you. Foundation. Thank you. Listen, it's a, a great uh, organization, and I, I feel a real sense of pride being here. So thank you to Heritage. Well, thank you. And let's begin a foreign policy question. The Obama administration, your take on its biggest disappointments in terms of foreign policy, any signs of hope that you have for this administration in any parts of the world? Well, I was, as you said, I was born in Cuba, so uh, I always think about my native homeland and, and the people there who desire to be free. And I think one of the biggest disappointments is uh, the Obama administration's lack of attention uh, about the violations of human rights and the lack of, of freedom, of uh, free elections, multi-party elections. Uh, no, nothing is, uh, is really being said or done uh, to help the Cuban people. Israel, that's another disappointment, a grave disappointment that I have with this administration. Not that we expected much in the way of support for Israel, a free country, a democratic country, a solid ally uh, in, in a very hostile neighborhood. And all we keep doing is badgering uh, Israel saying, oh, this housing complex is inconvenient, as if that housing complex is the impediment to Middle East peace. Israel wants a partner for peace. The Palestinian uh, leadership is not that, that partner. And we should have been more forceful in stopping the Palestinian statehood scheme early on because the Palestinians have been going around the world for years getting uh, governments to sponsor resolutions and pass resolutions supporting their statehood schemes. So we let this build up until then at the last minute we wake up and uh, we really don't do the groundwork that is needed to say we're with our friends and we want to isolate our enemies. Now, what message does that send, that approach, to the rest of the world, countries like Iran and Syria, North Korea? Absolutely. It sends us such a mixed message, too, because we, we're so forceful uh, when it's uh, low-hanging fruit and we think, okay, we're going to be uh, the liberators in this country and in that country and we're going to help the oppressed people there. And good for the Obama administration for doing that. But what is the Obama doctrine? Where do you draw the line? How do you choose what country you're going to spend resources on in order to help the people be free and which are not worthy of it? I have not gotten a real sense of what that Obama doctrine is. We seem to pick and choose with, uh, with ease. Where can we do it more easily? Uh, because it doesn't make any sense, the silence that took place uh, from the bomb Obama administration during the uh, uh, Iranian uprising in, in the beginning of his uh, presidency. Everybody, he, he was just so quiet, and it just took a lot of prodding by the public to get them to finally side with the freedom seekers instead of with the, uh, the supreme leader and the Ayatollahs and Ahmadinejad and company. And you recently introduced a package of United Nations reforms. How would this help the United States gain more control and, and perhaps make taxpayer dollars put them to better use at the United oh, Nations? It, it is a scandal. It is unbelievable to me how much American dollars are propping up a system that is uh, not functioning. It is absolutely dysfunctional. It's, it becomes, uh, the United Nations is really the, the bully pulpit for, uh, for uh, third world countries to berate the United States and chastise uh, our, our democratic values and human rights and, and to isolate and demonize uh, Israel. And many people don't know, we paid seven, over $7 billion to the, uh, to the uh, um, United Nations just last year, a 20% increase from the year before because they had done such a good job. They need to be rewarded with more money. And think of how much better uh, use we could have for that money here at home or helping our allies uh, abroad.